Hey guys, I want to bring back on another review. This is on the NECA 6 inch Hellraiser Series 1 Chatter Beast. Um, cool looking figure, however, it's not my favorite looking figure. He definitely could have been better. Uh, I think they could have replaced him with Julia, you know, just regular Julia, not like the Series 2 Julia. Um, but he is pretty cool looking. He doesn't have too much articulation, but he has some. Um... Yeah, he looks pretty cool. I'll do a 360. The front looks the best. I think when you look at him from that angle, it looks the best. However, I have him up on my shelf just so you can get the view of the side like that. But uh, he looks very cool. So, I'll show you some of the accessories he comes with. With He comes with two. comes with this hand. Which does have teeth marks in it. You're supposed to let him uh, bite it if you choose so. But I don't like it in his mouth. It doesn't look very good to me. And here's the underneath of the arm. It's pretty cool. Uh, here's the head. The head, personally, is my favorite accessory. Is the black eye, blood everywhere, teeth marks, and various spots. The underneath looks good with the bone hanging out. And there's the other teeth mark there. Tooth mark there, right? Um, for articulation, let me zoom out. Uh, he doesn't have that much articulation. He has... Uh, jaw articulation though to get the stuff in his mouth it is pretty loose which I guess is pretty good for him uh, the two front legs don't have any articulation well this front leg doesn't have any articulation this one you can't bend except for the paw right there that's it and then for the back you can for each leg rotate them about that far back he also does have a uh, neck movement, which personally I don't find that uh, useful, but I'm sure other people would find that pretty useful. Personally, I don't. That's just me. Anyway, guys, that's it for this review. Hope you guys liked it. So remember to like, favorite, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.